four months, and it was pretty solid four months, almost every day, from January through the end of April, and then a little bit in May. But what I'm gonna do is take off this cap down here, and we're just gonna see what's in the bottom. We're gonna dump that out, put it back, and then we're gonna sweep the chimney, and then see what we get out of it. Let's just see what this looks like. Okay. So that's really not much at all. Okay guys, we just bought this place. We moved in about three weeks ago. We haven't, it's December, it's almost Christmas. We haven't used the wood stove yet just because I wanted to check the chimney just to make sure that it wasn't bad. Do not let your chimney get this bad. Look how, look at this. This is, this is, I mean the buildup on here is ridiculous. When you look down inside here, you know that's, that's an inch thick in places. That's really, really bad. I don't, I don't know how this place didn't catch on, why this didn't catch on fire. I have no idea how that didn't happen. All right, we're going to get it cleaned up around the outside, going to get it swept really good, and uh, hopefully get this thing working again. Wow. We got it swept out. Let's look down inside. There's still some tiny bit on the walls, but that is 99% better. Wow. Can you believe that? Let's uh, get down here and see if we can see anything. I don't know. There's nothing built up on the sides. It actually looks pretty clear. Looks pretty clean to me. We're still going to run the brush down it though. And even though the chimney looked really clean here, I still made about eight full passes in and out with the brush. So far I was only able to sweep this part, which is almost two lengths of my, that's a long pipe. And so I couldn't get past this angle here with my brush because it's so tight. It's such a tight fit. I can't get it around this corner. So I'm gonna have to take these apart and just clean these. Or at least look at them. Maybe they don't need to be cleaned. Let's find out. So let's pop this bottom part here. And. Now that even looks like some old soot from, you know, look at this. This is from the rocket heater, definitely. And this is old black stuff that I might not have gotten very clean from the chimney, that I might have still had in the chimney. In any event, you know, from burning the wood stove. That's the combination there. So not too much. Let's get this apart and um, get it cleaned out. Okay, let's look inside here. Let me see if I can get the light here. So there's really not much buildup. I mean, there's a little bit there. That's nothing like a fireplace would do. That is nothing like a fireplace would do. Okay, so, you know, looking down this, this is the part that can burn out if you fire it too hot all the time. And so um, the condition of the liner here looks great all the way down to the bottom. There's a little bit of ash in the bottom. Um, we can drop our vacuum cleaner and and get that out. Let's how about around the sides. Okay. So there's some stuff on the walls. There's some stuff in the bottom. There's a little bit in the bottom. You can still see the bottom though. It's like hasn't even built up at all. Um, a little bit of fly ash is built up around the sides. So we'll wipe that out and um, vacuum it all out and get it back together and it's back in service. And this is interesting how this is at the top of the J-tube right in the middle and this is just a little bit of ash that's right there. The rest of it's a little black, a little darker, but that's how clean the burn is. It's burning everything to gray ash, so that's pretty cool. You probably already know that smoke is a sign of incomplete combustion. This thing burns so hot and so completely, I have never once seen smoke come out of my chimney. Okay, 
okay, now that we have this apart, we can kind of explain a little bit better how this works. And seeing the internals, you know, sometimes helps a lot with your understanding of um, how to fix a problem or how to optimize something. So this is obviously the burn tube, right? You can put sticks in here, um, or we can put the pellet hopper on top here, and it'll feed pellets down through this tube into this basket. Either way, the flame uh, burns upside down, right? It burns down because the air comes in the intakes right here. Of course, that's covered, but the air comes in the intakes right there when that's not covered, uh, around the burn tube or down around your sticks. And then that draft pulls the flame down and the flame can only go one way um, because we have a piece of glass here, a piece of metal here. So it goes this way because that's where the draft is pulling it. So the flame actually burns right here and burns down and then horizontally along this tube right here. So the flame is actually burning inside here and into, because this J tube goes inside of this burn barrel. And let's look down inside here. So here's the burn side over here. That's the bottom of the J tube, kind of the bottom of the J. Um, this is the short leg of the J and the tall leg of the J, if you can imagine that. And then this is the bottom leg of the J, the horizontal leg down here. And so the flame is burning inside that little square piece of steel there. It's square tubing. It's six inches wide, it looks like. That ends up right here. And so the flame ends up burning horizontally into here and maybe even vertically here if it's still carrying a flame. But mostly this is just heat that's rising up this right here. Now this gets so hot because of the rocket nature of this design, um, it would mel literally melt the steel. And so if you build this at home, you can build your own. But if you don't line it with anything, this will burn out and melt out pretty quickly. So this liner, you have to be careful. And so in an email that they sent me, you know, you can run the stove fast. You can run it super hot. So all that heat that's coming up here and hits this top plate, when we put this plate back on, that top plate sits right here and that gets five, you know, 400, 500, 600. You can run up to 700 something degrees. You run it at 700 degrees, of course, that's nice and hot. And there'll be times you may want to do that, but what that'll do is that'll shorten the life of the liner here. And if you're not keeping an eye on the liner, that can burn through and then melt through the steel here. And then that's all got to be replaced, which is the pain in the butt because this is all welded down here in the bottom uh, and for good reason. So, you know, so running at 400, maybe 500 degrees, I'm going to be happy with. That way it'll make this liner last longer. And you can see there's bolts here and nuts on the outside that you can replace this if you need to, this liner. But I'm going to try to make this last as long as I can get it to last. And it looks perfect all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so the heat rises up here. It gets trapped here. And that's the perfect, that's the amazing part of the rocket heater is the heat gets trapped here, right? Heat rises. And so the cooler air of the, of the air that's in here actually exhaust down the sides and so the sides of the barrel will get hot too and of course the legs will too but it goes down the sides down there and out the hole right there and then so that's the hole right here and this is a six inch hole and it comes out here and goes out the chimney so the chimney exhaust is actually very cool compared to a wood stove so you're losing almost no heat, you know very little heat up the chimney and if you can actually capture that heat and mass them you know we've talked about building a mass bench here and then having the chimney pipe come over here and then wrap back around and then go up and out the chimney pipe right there. Um, we may do that someday. We're hoping to, but uh, that's not gonna happen this fall. We just have too many other winter projects going on. But that's basically the gist of it. The fire burns horizontally down here. This feeds it with wood or with pellets. The fire burns horizontally here. It gets trapped here. All the, most of the heat gets retained here and gets radiated to the room then. It's not all just pouring out the, like a regular wood stove where it's just pouring out the top of the chimney. It's getting trapped here. The cooler gases are coming down and then exhausting um, with the regular, up the regular chimney.